Hey everybody, welcome back to Tens of Motorsports. Today I want to give an answer to a question that I've been getting a lot. So I've talked about this in a couple of videos before. How on earth did I get a 330CI side vent? Now, the answer to that is I didn't. It's an M3 vent that I've modified. Today I want to dedicate a video on just doing uh, the 330CI side vent. Now, I'm just doing it in white and I'm actually going to be pulling it back off because this is obviously not a 330, this is an M3. And I think we're probably going to be uh, wrapping this and then doing something over it anyways. But today I'd like to just show how to make one look like a 330CI badge. Now there's two reasons why you would do this. Uh, the first reason would be if your vent is in good condition but the badge here is starting to yellow. Obviously that is due to age and wear and stuff like that. The sun, these badges don't last forever. And if there's nothing wrong with your vent you can just cover over it and then put some new custom vinyl on it. Now, if you're worried about your vent being really old, you can leave it on the car. So if you're worried about it being old, because it's, you, know, you can obviously tell it's getting old because it's starting to yellow, the plastics oftentimes break down. So if you're worried about that, you can leave it on the car and do this whole process on the car. But since we're gonna be recording it, I'd like to pull the vent off the car and take it up onto the bench so that we can do it. The other reason why you would do this is if your car is not an M3. So my 330 is, not an M3, so I wanted to put 330 on it because in my case, I'm not looking to fool anybody. I'm not, I don't want somebody to look at my car and go, oh, an M3, and I just go, yeah, it's an M3. You know, most of the time, within reason, I'll correct somebody. Uh, like, no, it's actually a 330, it's a supercharged car, and it's meant to look kind of like an M3 and have M3 performance. So that's probably the other reason why you would do something like this. We were originally wanting to move these fenders over to the wagon, then we realized they weren't gonna fit, which is kind of a bummer, but we were gonna put um, touring or just S54, maybe do like the M3 colors, the light blue, dark purpley blue, and red, um, the S54, but it didn't end up working out like that. So we are going to pull this vent off and I'm gonna show you exactly how I got my race car to say 330CI on the standard M3 side fender vent. So here it is off the car. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is clean this surface and make sure that the vinyl is able to stick to it. Next thing I wanna talk about real quick before we do that is what you're gonna need. So all we're doing in this case is using a little bit of black scrap and we'll be just wrapping over the top of this. And then I did make a 330CI badge just as an example. This one might be a little bit off because I didn't measure it super carefully. I just kind of, actually I printed out the last rendition of this badge so i wonder if my m3 vents are a little bit different like this length here but it looks like it's relatively close this obviously isn't staying on there i just printed this as an example and on my race car this is white and then the ci is red we're just doing it all white for simplicity sakes for this video so let's get this cleaned off and get it wrapped in black
So here's the black on it. I did do it a little bit sloppy because like I said, this is, I'm just doing this for demonstrational purposes, but you'd really want to get your fingernail down the side and make sure that you're pushed all the way over. And then uh, it started to cut as soon as I ran my fingernail across it. Oftentimes you can do that if you want to. Uh, other times it probably be best to cut right along this edge here to make the vinyl just a little bit bigger. I actually cut it a little short. So yeah, you just want to take a little bit of extra time. Make sure you go over that. And then all you do after that is pull off your 330C ice sticker. So there you go. There is a 330CI side vent fender gill grill whatever you guys want to call it, but it's all done. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, obviously there's also different colors. You could wrap this in gunmetal gray and do this in red. I mean, there's a ton of different color combos if you wanted to, but that's exactly how I made my 330 CI side vents. So anybody who was curious, that's what I did. I'm going to be removing this because actually, if you look, it, I think the double back tape is actually starting to fail on this badge. So because this vent, besides this little piece here, which I did not do. Uh, this vent seems to be in decent condition. I'm gonna pull this off and redo the double back tape. And then because this badge was starting to yellow a little bit, I do think we are gonna put something over this, even if it's just the replacement M3 badge. But this is exactly how you do it. It's very simple, very straightforward. All you need is a 330CI sticker and a little square rectangle piece of black and you can easily do this. This is taking me about 15 minutes to do, and it would take even less time if you wanted to keep the vent on the car. Well, there you have it. Super easy process to badge your non-M car with some non-M badges or fixing your M badges that are starting to fade. The only thing I can say is to repeat myself from earlier, just make sure you spend some more time <laughs> wrapping the black on there. I didn't spend a lot of time on it, and so it's looking a little bit goofy. So the B-roll footage, was a little hard to get those really good shots because I didn't do a super great job. So that's the only thing I probably would change. Make sure that you spend a lot of time doing this yourself so that you can make it look just how you want it. Thanks everybody so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. Check out our Instagram link in the description below if you are interested in some shirts or stickers. Also check out our Patreon link in the description below as well if you wanna support the channel and see early ad-free access starting at just a dollar a month. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section below and we will see everybody in the next video.